attention deficit disorder? Isn't that um, like when you can't concentrate on something? And well, I mean, you should see my paintings. I mean, I, I do all these little pen and ink paintings with very small little details, and I sit there for hours, sometimes months, doing them. And, and I write screenplays, and uh, and most people think that I'm really organized, and, and, and I concentrate better than anybody they know. That's very typical of the ADD person. They're usually over-attentive to the, the activities they're interested in. But from everything you've told me about being hyperactive as a child and daydreaming a lot in school, etc., I believe you may have this disorder. Hmm. I don't want to have a disorder. My brain functions just fine. Probably better than most. Look at all the talents you've developed over the years. Don't look at it as a disorder. It's more like your brain is just wired a little differently than the average person's. Wired a little differently? I mean, I know I, I'm not quite normal, but, but wired differently? I mean, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I'm an alien from another planet. <laughs> well, that's always possible. But meanwhile, I'd like you to um, read a few books on the subject, uh, see if any of that fits you. So that's how it all started. I decided then to uh, write a screenplay about my life as an ADD artist. Uh, what's ADD? Well, it's uh, attention deficit disorder. I found out that all the problems that I've been having all my life, like not being able to stick to one career, not being able to relax, constantly having ants in my pants, and generally just being a failure, was not due to, to a number of things that I was misdiagnosed with, like depression, manic depression, just plain manic, or insanity, but it was attention deficit disorder. I was diagnosed with it just over a year ago. I think I'll go work on one of those uh, several unfinished screenplays I've been working on. Having a lot of unfinished projects is a major symptom of ADD. Mommy wants to sit down. Come on. I'm gonna sit there. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, where was I? Okay. Interior. Hollywood studio. Apartment. Bathroom. Jake is having a shower. As Trudy applies heavy makeup to her face. Okay. <clears throat> Suddenly, oh, oh, she sees oh, 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 both her eyelashes and up on her cheeks. She says, Oh, shoot! Hmm. Great timing. I 
course they run a warehouse in Alaska. Interior. Bedroom. Continuous. Trudy pulls on red stockings and attaches them to a lacy garden. Jake and Trudy leave their apartment amorously. Oh boy, it work like this. Never mind Alaska. Oh, I wish they'd rent a warehouse on another planet. Looks like they need a bit of competition. I'll show them. You never listen to me. Well, you just go on and ramble on about nothing at all all the time and... Oh, it's not about nothing. It's... It, it, it's... What the Invisible Cripple is, is the bank for TV about me as an ADD person, the problems and, and the tragedies and, and, and... Oh, the disease of the weak movie. Uh, yeah. But why don't you finish uh, editing now your... What's it called? The... Mixed Up Media Series. Yeah, Mixed Up Media Series first and then you can submit me a proposal and a budget and a, and a script. At least get write a script for me first before you even talk about a project. And you know, get get me the budget especially.
No? <laughs> okay. Oh, what's this? Postcards from Eve from a couple of months ago. Well, I guess we should file these, huh, Merlin? What do you think? We'll file them in the postcard box. Okay. What did I come in here for? Postcards. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh. Howdy, y'all. What is howdy, y'all? Of course, we're having a good time, but the sun may be a little too much for us northerners to handle. See you soon. We'll probably look like four raisins. <laughs> Eva, Maddie, Rena, and Rudy. What's this? Cher, Linnea. Voila. Bien spectacle. Qui m'a bien plu pendant pendant une petite promenade. André. I don't even remember getting this. Oh, jeez. I swear, if I saved all of Merlin fur, I'd have enough to make a sweater. Did I remember to brush my teeth? Well, it's still wet. I can always use another brushing. Oh, I keep forgetting to get toothpaste. Hmm. That's better. Oh, yuck. Toothpaste dots. Oh, I better go clean them. Get some Windex. 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 Oh, Windex. Oh. Well, that's the polish that I bought to polish those boots I got from the thrift store. Been meaning to polish those boots for a month. I think I'd better do it now. I really love that poster. When I was little, I danced as a snowflake in a church Christmas pageant. And for a long time after that, I wanted to be a ballerina. But my family couldn't afford lessons, and pretty soon it became too late. Well, my dreams have changed. I'm now a mixed up media artist. <sighs> but I keep that poster around because it reminds me to keep on trying. The problem with my ADD is that uh, 
I can't seem to focus in on any one career. I have to do everything. A lot of people don't understand that. In this society, one has to specialize to fit into some kind of slot. I'd go Looney Tunes if I had to do that. <laughs> Every time I'm close to losing it, I look over at that poster. does not look to me that you are doing your school work, Lee. This is my school work. It's for the school play. Do not snarl at me like that. I mean for you to study. For your examinations. Oh. Well, I did that in homeroom this morning already. Oh. Oh, Lee. You daydream in school. You must study at home where I can see you. What's that funny smell? I have to finish this costume for next week. Oh, if you try so hard to study as you do with your music and your plays, you would get good marks. you very smart. Just like the children of our friends. I do try hard. And I do get some good marks. Oh. 29% in chemistry is not so good, Mark. It's very, very bad. 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 <laughs> so I didn't care much for chemistry. And what good would it do me now, anyway? Well, maybe I could uh, concoct my own paints or something. like you are on a factory production line. These are supposed to be abstracts. They do not look like anything. Use color and shapes. Well, they're supposed to represent my, my feelings, my emotions. Oh, they look like nothing. Uh, Lee, you are painting so too fast. You must do everything so fast. Why do you do everything so fast? Painting must be done with a small brush and with detail. Details. It, it, it takes me a month to do one painting and you 
do 10 paintings in one hour. And I'm going to sell them that fast too. Oh, you cannot sell this rash. Nobody will buy such thing. I dare not even sell my painting. Well, you should. They're really very good. I wish you'd start painting again. Oh, it takes too much time. I have my children to raise and my garden. And I've got my paintings and my acting and my singing. Oh, Lee, you cannot make up your mind what to do with your life. You, you do too many things. Dress design, bad painting, singing, acting, dancing. You can not make up your mind. What else? Oh. Well, I've always wanted to be a stand-up comic. <laughs> <laughs> jokes, jokes. Mm, don't you just love jokes? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Shocking, shocking. I always shock when I'm depressed. How do you like my new boots? <laughs> Great, aren't they? Well, the other day, a friend noticed them and asked if uh, things were looking up since I was actually wearing something that wasn't from a thrift store. <laughs> I said, no, actually, things are not looking up for me. They're looking down, as a matter of fact. So I went to the store. And I bought myself something nice to look down on. <laughs> oh, shit. My stupid boots. Hey, I got these from the thrift store for six dollars. It's three dollars a boot. Hate polishing them though. thing that made any sense to me because in film I could do everything I wanted. I could art direct, I could write, I could act, dance if I wanted to. Well actually I knew I wanted to be a director when I was 14 and uh, wrote my and directed my first school play. <laughs> and everyone kept trying to talk me out of it. I'm really disappointed in your work this year, Lee. You haven't finished one single project. But I ran out of money. It seems to me you were too ambitious. Uh, you tried to do too many things. A screenplay, a feature film, uh, book illustrations. You need to focus in on just one small thing instead of running off in 15 different directions at once. Well, I work best that way. Seems not. You haven't done anything. You might not graduate this year. I ran out of money. You took on too much. If you had concentrated on one small project. Lee, I don't think you're cut out for the film industry. 
But I love film. I'm good at it. Not if you can't get it in the can. I ran out of money. I think you should reconsider your uh, career ambitions. The film industry is a male-dominated arena. You're a pretty young girl. You should consider getting married, having children. Use your creative energies in macrame. Or take a course in pottery.
I mean, these look like they've been done by 20 different people. Well, I, I'm still kind of experimenting and uh, trying to figure out who I am as an artist. Yeah, but uh, if you want to be known as a serious artist, uh, you have to decide what style of paintings you'd like to be known for. I mean, how else are your future collectors going to recognize your work? By my signature? Mm -hmm.